It's so cold. His arms are fell off. Look at that. Do not go away. Hi everyone. We are in Bristol. So we're in Stokes Gift, no, Stokes Croft. And St Paul's apparently. Yes. This bit all up in the air. We have a wonderful view. Behind us. Yeah. So, my thumb's in the way. So, the reason why we're here today is we're going to see the graffiti like the home of Banksy and uh, other bits and bobs yes we are so, so in, lots of photos lots of photos of graffiti but you'll see we'll show you it's a very hilly area so we're walking up <laughs> she's not doing my ankle any good Peggy's not doing ankle any good Peggy's a uh, Chipped her bone in her foot. No. My foot, my tibia. My tibia. I'll let you tell people. Um, so if I walk over here, see the buildings. Yeah, walking. Yeah, walking. We'll put lots and lots and lots of video footage in. And photos. And photos. For you guys to enjoy. One over there is to do with. Uh, if I swing this way, you're going to make everyone a bit dizzy. Ah, so this one we'll put a picture in is to do with vegetarians. Yeah, it's to say that you're not going to be, your body is not going to be a tomb for other creatures. So basically, for those who don't eat meat, you're, on, you're going to be vegetarian because you're not going to have another creature inside you. Well, Simpson would say, don't have a cow, man. It says, property is theft. Nobody owns anything when you die or stays here. So I'm going to walk down this way and this is a really cool wall, look at this. <laughs> that cool? Where are you Peggy? You keep wondering at the shot. I'm right here. You're there. Look at this. And then she's gone. Again. Under the <laughs> what you got? I've actually got the value not profit to save Hamilton House. Ready here first. Smell of fish and chips. We're on the hunt. We're going to follow our noses. All we smell so the far fish is and chips. incense sticks and fish and chips. Yeah. But brilliant. So look at that house. Everything's going to be in. Maybe the van, which I can't get in the shot now. We're heading back to our car now. Yes. Shaky video going uphill. Quite steep. Hurting my ankle. And we're going to see more of Bristol. Yes. Brizzle. 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 We're going to you see more, more of Brizzle. We might go and see some famous bridge if we can find it. We managed to park up. We have. 
and we're going to show you. Slope. This is a spectacular sight if Peggy comes over here. Look behind us. <gasps> What's that? Well, I'll give you a clue. Brunel made it. Built it. Built it. I'm so worried about losing my hat right now. So. Mm. Okay. Lift the suspension bridge. <laughs> I'm worried about driving holding my camera and that's the drop my knees are already shaking Peggy's here we're right on the edge no I don't like being near the edge apparently standing in the middle of Clifton Camp Hillfort but there's an observatory here at the minute which has got great Totally in the wrong place for this shot. We'll walk over here. It's got that top bit up there for the observatory. I think he's just going to have a look. Behind us is the Clifton Bridge and the drop. Some stunning views. Observatory. Peggy trying to break in. Lovely sunny day. About the time we had some sun here in the UK. You may laugh at this, but if you're about to go on a walk over hills, uh, over a, a height like that, I am so grateful that someone like me has been there before. I needed to go. So did Peggy. She got in the mouth. Then we're gonna go over the bridge. Sideshow Bob. We're about to walk over Clifton Suspension Bridge. Built, I don't know what year, a long time ago. By Isambard Brunel. Yes. Behind us. We're going, going. If I don't film anymore, I fell off the bridge. There's Peggy filming me because she got to take over that one. Yeah, I'll move out of the way for the joggers. Let, let the joggers go by. And beautiful view if I don't drop my camera. If I'm shaking, I apologise. I do have a big fear of heights. And uh, yeah. So we're now walking across Clifton Suspension Bridge. And if you look down there, actually see the cars going under on the road underneath. We have a, a frightened Chloe <clears throat> who's braving it because she's very scared of heights. <laughs> it's 
and the fact she's actually going to walk across this is actually oh, Peggy, amazing. Had to let her go past. Hey. So we'll keep on walking. There we go. We'll carry on. There's another runner coming. So I will now show you. There you go. The road underneath again. And there's the water from the estuary going underneath. Well, that lorry is loud. That's that lorry over there, but I can't show you it. But anyway, the suspension bridge. There we go. nearly halfway across. I uh, haven't died yet. Loads of joggers, loads of joggers. So anyway, yeah, still scared. <laughs> Gotta go back across it here to get to the car. <laughs> but we made it. Here we are Peggy. <laughs> okay, we're going to walk across the British suspension bridge back to the car. Um, as we're walking back, I'm going to tell you a story. Sorry if I don't look, keep looking at the camera. Um, I've also got to make sure there's, because it's quite a thin, narrow pathway. We don't walk into anyone, and there's a lot of runners as well, so they need to get past. See, Chloe has a fear of heights, and for her to do this is quite good actually. It's a good challenge for her. Um, the story I have is actually all to do with, also to do with heights, but it's a memory I have of my granddad who sadly passed away a few years ago. Um, but his, the memory I have of him on this bridge, considering it's quite a short bridge, um, when I was a child it seemed very long. Um, the memory is quite funny, so we'll give it a go, shall we? <laughs> yeah, so we'll keep Chloe behind, so that'd be easier. So she's scared of heights, but she's doing this as well. So the story I have um, is when we got halfway across this bridge when I was little, my granddad had taken us to Bristol Zoo. Um, and as a tree at the end, we walked along this bridge to see the height, at the sights of it, the height, everything. Never knew my granddad was scared of heights at that time. And considering he was like six foot odd tall, it was very strange to see. We could hear this noise. Um, it sounded like a train to be fair. And my granddad collapsed to the ground and went, oh my God, the bridge is falling down, the bridge is falling down. And us being kids go, Grandad, don't be so stupid, it sounds like a train. No, there's no trains. There's no train tracks. So what could we hear? We turned around and there, on a lovely brown tall horse, was a police officer coming and over the bridge. And the sound we could hear was actually the click clocking of the hooves. But to my granddad, it sounded like the bridge was falling down. We never made it to the other side of the bridge. In fact, we had to get back to the other, back to the side we came from with my granddad on his hands and knees because he thought the bridge was falling down. 
it's one of the funny memories that I do have of my granddad um, because where my granddad and my nan had split up um, before I was born so my gra I didn't see my granddad very much but that is definitely one of the memories I have I can't remember anything about Bristol Zoo itself but I do remember that so yeah we are we're not quite halfway yet we're halfway when we reach the yellow bolts in the middle of the bridge which I would turn and show you but yeah if you can just imagine that clip clopping noise of the sound of the on the bridge with the horse that I suppose I suppose it could be quite terrifying especially when you are scared by So we're now in the centre of the bridge and we're carrying on. Uh, yeah, clip clop, clip clop. Actually, the hooves of a the horse going across. Fair play to the police officer, though. She did get down off of her horse and she helped my granddad get back to the to the uh, safety of the land. So yeah, but it was a beautiful horse. Both ways now. I've done it front and back. Still scared of heights. Thank you for watching. To keep up to date with our adventures, subscribe now. If you would like to support us in making our videos, why not support us through Patreon? Leave your feedback below. We want to hear from you. See you on the next one.